3,000 Reserve Force members are what the Ministry of Defence is looking to recruit for a peacekeeping mission in Somalia. So the Reserve can be called as and when necessarizes. According to the UPDL spokesperson, Brigadier General Felix Kureje, the recall is as a result of the need for peacekeeping in Somalia, whose state is still being strengthened. As of now, there is a necessity, and that necessity is peacekeeping in Somalia. So this call-up, we want those able-bodied Ugandans from the reserve force who satisfy the requirements. This, however, has brought more questions on whether the 54,000 military officers in the active service are not enough to pick on for deployment and whether the army is overstretched. Crown Municipality Legislator Ibrahim Samijunganda and Butambala County MP Muhammad Mwanga Chivumbi wonder if there are unknown deployments the country's force is engaged in. At the moment, UPDF is more than 60,000 men and women, more than 60,000. I am suspicious of the reason that is being given for the mobilization of the reserve. I am suspicious. Someone out there, maybe the president, the head of state, needs to, to come up and explain what is going on. But my fear is there, there is a ground somewhere that is not holding. The MPs are skeptical on the intention of the operation, arguing that there could be a hidden motive or insecurity at hand, something the army spokesperson disputes. I am not sure that Somalia is the reason that they are mobilizing reserves. It is possible that they are mobilizing them out of fear, either someone is mobilizing them um, to remove a government or to go and, and begin a rebellion, that they now want to get hold on to everybody who has a military training and you have them. We are slowly by slowly moving towards 2002-26. What's the mood and the polite of the veterans? What's wrong with actually utilizing them? So that yes, they earn, number one, and when they earn, they will be able also to contribute to the economy. It's not about fear of insecurity. The legislators, who said there is less for the Ugandan army to do in Somalia, having spent years on the mission, have expressed discontentment, indicating that the peacekeeping mission has become a cash cow for the government. Our army is for rent, and therefore you have all these reserves, it's their turn. Hmm? to also be part of, to eat part of the cake and have their slice, part of it, and uh, they are doing. And if there's anything UPDF has avoided, thanks to our leadership, is the mercenary mentality. You do a service, if there are benefits to you, you thank God. But the, the biggest um, reason, the biggest objective, is the common good we are creating. In the coming financial year, 2023-2024, the UPDF is seeking recruitment of 23,000 soldiers, a move that keeps MPs questioning the need for a call of the reserve. But the army argues this is to reveal the gap left behind by those who are tired. Do we have an imminent danger that we don't know or the state is aware of? Yes, tasks are increasing. The East African, stand, uh, East African Regional Intervention Force is a new deployment. According to the United Nations Programme for Peacekeeping, the UPDF is expected to withdraw from Somalia in 2024. Shamim Nawakoza, NBS, live at 9.